reason. That's my name. Trouble. Trouble Pinkerton. Another good reason is I always seem to be surrounded by trouble. My father's earliest memory is a troubled one. Every time he looked at me, he seemed to experience no end of pain or sorrow. My father, B.F. Pinkerton, was an officer in the United States Navy. I say was. He retired early and died early. My mother, Kate, seemed to experience the same as my father. She, my mother, I should say my stepmother, seemed to look at me with pity. Why? Who or what were the ghosts that haunted my parents and me? As she lay dying, my stepmother told me a story. A story that has brought me here, to this abandoned house overlooking this bay of Nagasaki as night descends. Trouble. for two years, but it is almost gone. What happens now if he does not come back? Not come back? Of course he'll come back. <clears throat> he has an important business in his important country. And if he's not coming back, why did he sign the lease for 999 years? And why did he put American locks on the doors and the windows? Answer me that. I do not know. Of course you don't know. You know nothing. Well, let me tell you, to keep out those that are out, and to keep in those that are in, that is me. But he has not written any letters. American men never write letters. Never. Oh, never. 
And I've never yet heard of an American Navy man coming back to his Japanese wife. <laughs> I do not like the way he said that. <laughs> oh, that's just an American way of saying goodbye. Yes, he'll come back in the robin's nest again. Oh, look, Suzuki, there is a robin, first of the spring. Go and see if he stays the nest. It is a robin, Jojo san.
American Consul. Oh, Your Excellency, good evening. Oh, you can't see me yet. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I got a little excited. I mean, good morning. <laughs> welcome to this American house, and the most welcome to this American life. <laughs> Please sit down. How is your health? Are you sleeping well? Your honorable ancestors, are they well? Your parents? Your grandmother, how was she? Well, uh, they're all, uh, well, thanks, I hope. Uh, I'm forgetting, I still have this large American cigarette. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Uh, um, Madam Butterfly, I'm here on a little visit of inquiry. Um, Lieutenant Pinkerton wrote to me. Oh, you've heard from him? Is he well? Oh, he's all right. <clears throat> oh, that makes me the most happy woman in all Japan. Maybe in the whole world. <coughs> uh, what do you think? <coughs> oh, <coughs> sawdust. Pinkerton must have left these. Oh, I'm so glad you came. I want to ask you a little question. Well? Do you know about the birds in your country? Oh, something. Well, I think you know everything. That's why the country sends you here. Oh, you flatter me. No, you just got a big head. <laughs> Pinkerton again, I can hear it. Now, what about robins? What? About robins, when they nest again. Maybe some nest early in Japan than in America, because in Japan they're nesting now. Well, I imagine they probably at the same time. Yes. Then they're nesting there. Maybe some there, maybe some here. Just possibly. what they feel like. Well, possibly. Why do you ask? Because Lieutenant Trickington said that he's going to come back when the robins nest again. Poor devil. One of his infernal jokes. Me? I think it's time. I've waited so long. <laughs> Who's that laughing? Oh, it's Goro, the marriage broker. You wicked man, stop laughing. While my husband away, you try to marry me off to Yamadori. Silence! Get out of my house! Madam Butterfly, may I ask, where are your people? My people? My people made me marry when I didn't want to marry. And now that I'm married, they don't want me to stay married. Before I got married, my honorable father died. He was an officer. It was his choice. You see what's written? To die with honor when one cannot live with honor. He killed himself. He was a soldier and emperor. Then we become very poor, and I dance for a little. And I thought, if some rich man wants me, I'll get married for a while. Because of my grandmother, we had no food, nothing. Then Gore says there was a man looking for a wife for three months. And Gore says there was a man nicer than me. He was barbarian the beast, but everyone says, yes, take him. Take him because he has money. So I say, perhaps. A little while I can stand him. That day I thought Lieutenant Pickinson was just a god. Gold buttons, knees in his uniform. At first I was frightened. He held my hand so close, like this. And he kissed me. Japanese don't like kissing, but when Lieutenant Pickinson kissed me, I liked it very much. What's the use of lies, not in me? Well then, we got married, and his ship was ordered away. And me, I'm still waiting, sometimes watching, sometimes crying, but always waiting. Ah, the prosperous Yamadori approaches. <laughs> For the third time today? <laughs>
Perseverance shall be my religion until Butterfly deigns to believe me. Will you tell me again you're going to kill yourself if I don't marry you? Uh. <laughs> oh, that's okay. The counselor knows. Mm -hmm. I've been talking all about your little foolishness. Such treatment, Mr. Sharpless, <laughs> is one of the many penalties men endure when in love with a charming woman. My God, just the way Pinkerton winks. <laughs> I'm in Japan for two months. A pleasure trip. Do you blame me? Oh, every time when he gets home, he gets another woman. By now, he probably has more than eight. But I married them all. Oh, he married whatever he thinks about it. <laughs> well, you shall be different. I will bury you with my ancestors. I offered her a thousand servants. <laughs> a thousand? And a palace to live in. Everything her heart can wish. Is that not enough? Well, then, in the presence of this statesman of integrity, let me put it in writing. Is that not enough? What good is it for a married woman? In Japan, when a woman is deserted, she is divorced. But not in my country, the United States. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.